Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, my name is Nida Patihaturizkia. People used to call me Nida. I'm from class A, third semester student from Sultan Agung Tertayasa University. So here, I will present material about fake news. When it comes to fake news, we probably think about social media. So I have a question in my head. How to stop fake news? especially in social media. But before we talk about how to stop it, the first thing that we need to do is discuss about the definition of fake news. So, reported from media toolkit.com written by Irma Chikis and published on January 31, 2022, explains that the term fake news refers to false and or misleading information about our world in general. From politicians and celebrities to companies or historical events, anything and anyone can be a subject of fake news. Nowadays, fake news is extremely hard to stop and it usually spread across social media. Fake news spread quickly as it is hard to spot since it's mostly written in the same manner as other real news. For instance, research done on tens of thousands of tweets containing rumors sent out between 2006 and 2017 finds that the top 1% of false news cascades debuts to between 1,000 and 100,000 people, whereas the truth rarely debuts to more than 1,000 people. Then. Is fake news a new phenomenon? The answer is no. Fake news is not a, is not a new phenomenon. Propaganda, lies, spin, and misleading information were a thing long before social media. The first traces of fake news dates back to the Greek antique times. But with the rise of modern newspaper in the early 19th century, rose the type of false stories we know today. From then on, fake narratives have been used for various purposes, wars, religious conflicts, business interests, you name it. People have always, in one way or another, been subject to political manipulation. But, since the rise of the internet and especially social media, it became much easier to spread fake news. And what is even more worrying, it became more, much harder to recognize or stop fake news. But why is fake news created? What is your lies in spreading fake news for certain purposes? Most of the time, fake news refers as a not so great tool in the political arena. In the age of social media, Many politicians create fake stories about their opponents. They mostly do so to dissuade the voters from voting for them. Just remember one of the most famous fake news stories, the one about Hillary Clinton and the gruesome physical accusations. And can you spot fake stories? If you think you know how to spread fake news and will never believe a lie, you might want to think again. Even tech savvy people can be easily fooled. In 2016, researchers at Stanford University found that when it comes to judging the credibility of online information, otherwise digital safety student can be easily doubted. So how to recognize possible fake news? How even take a loose spread of fake news if it's so hard to spot them? So the first one is, most of the social media sites will do it for you. In the past few years, companies like Google and Facebook decided to fight the amount of fake news on their site. After the previously mentioned Cambridge Analytica scandal, Facebook and other tech giants took debt protection and fake news battling seriously. For example, all big social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, 
started banning profiles and flagging posts that spread false and dangerous information. Nowadays, this is mostly seen regarding the news about the COVID-19 vaccine. For example, if you have not seen this warning as yet, try sharing an Instagram story related to the COVID-19 vaccine. You will get a warning from Instagram to fact check your post before sharing it. Second, fact check what you are reading and sharing. Fact checking means making sure that all the facts in piece of writing, a news article, a speech, are correct. But you don't have to do it by yourself, as it can be a tiring task. Nowadays, there are various fact checking sites that will check the accuracy of online articles for you. Some of the most famous fact checking sites are factcheck.org, a project started by the University of Pennsylvania and an international fact checking network pointer, which started a Pulitzer Prize winning site, Pulitzer. And the third, read the same story from several different sources. If you read a storyline from one site, it might be best to search for the same story on several different sites before sticking to it. That should minimize the risk of the story being weak. Fourth, news should it be objective. Also, look for objectivity in the news articles. Make sure that the story you are reading is covered in an unbiased, objective way. If you have a feeling that the article is too subjective, it might be best to check its accuracy. So, in conclusion, as we all know, anything and anyone can be the subject of fake news, even though this sort of political manipulation has always been present. Fake news become even easier to spread, harder to recognize, and hardest to stop in the age of social media. The several steps we mentioned at the end of this discuss are start to recognize and in the long run stop fake news. And there are even various sites and social media platforms that can do the job for you. But if you really want to avoid believing and sharing fake news and misleading information, the best advice would be think critically about all the information you encounter online. It is also best to take time to verify the information before believing it or resharing it to your followers. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you for the attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.